Welcome to my channel. This is Sam. I'm playing Red Dead Redemption. So we're gonna go for Armadillo's missions. कहाँ गया मिशन यार? जब मैं कल सेव किया था तब तो था। हाँ अभी दिखा रहा। बाहर आने के लिए जा रहा है। Let's go for this Nigel West Dickens mission first. Then we go for this Bonnie McFarlane's mission, and then we we'll again go for Marshall Johnson's. Mission. I'm not doing uh, mission from the same place one after another. That will just yeah, save time, but I'm not doing this for time. Let's go. You can take a stage course; it will take a very less time. Probably very close to what you can say, fast traveling. And I can tell you with no uncertainty that miracle cures are no laughing matter. I bid you good day, sir. Uh, <laughs> oh, Mr. Marston, good to see you. How have you been keeping? I'm well, Mr. <laughs> Mr. West Dickens. Nigel West Dickens of East Cheap, London, New Waverly, New York, and Armadillo, New Austin. At your service. At my service. At everyone's service, at the service of science, of knowledge, of life. Uh, <laughs> how are your wounds? Hmm? Oh, oh, uh, much, much better. But then, they would be. Mm -hmm. Would be. I know a cure for all ailments, Mr. Marston. Ah, I'm sure you do. And I'm sure for just two dollars an ounce, I could live forever. Oh, but for you, sir. I do a bulk discount rate of one ninety-five an ounce. <laughs> as long as you buy hundred ounces or more, that's a lot of immortality. Uh, give it up, old man. 
That's Mr. West Dickens to you, boy. Give it up, old man. <laughs> uh, listen, Marston, I'm broke. But this stuff is good. It works. I need a healthy young man like you. <laughs> Come along. Let's ride over to my newest customer at Ridgewood, and I'll explain why we go. Okay. <laughs> oh, to here. Ridgewood Farm! The sick and needy await us! Oh, the life of it's a wandering saver of souls! I heard about you, Mr. West Dickens. And I about you, John Marston. Hoodwink in the week. Gullible out of their hard-earned money. My dear boy, it is you who is gullible, if I may be so bold. Get back on the road! We'll have nothing left by the time we get to Ridgeworth. For heeding such ill-informed scuttle butt. Stay on the road! You're going to destroy the merchandise! You're as full of wind as a horse with a cub. I have been blessed with the gift of language, and for that I will not apologize. But the West Dickens elixirs speak for themselves. My thousands of happy customers attest to that. If my tonic is such a sham, how do you explain the fine metal in which you find me? Last time you saw me, I was knocking at death's door. You should thank the doctor for that. I reckon you were acting it up worse than it was. Act I can, John. More convincing Othello there has never been, and so shall you, a fair Iago or Cassio mate. I don't like the sound of this. Showmanship, John, the flourish. Wow, we are operating in a competitive marketplace. Our product must stand out. And how does this involve me? We're going to use your God-given talents to our advantage. I'm really starting to regret I'll this. I'll you off at the outskirts of Bridgewood. That way, it won't look like we came together. Once I'm set up, saunter nonchalantly into the crowd that is sure to be caught. Eventually, I will call you up to try my time. After extolling the virtues, I will have you perform a few feats of wonder to amaze and impress the king. Such as? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary for a man in your line of work, I assure you. So it is all a sham. No, no, just a little innocent valley to grease the wheels of enterprise, that's all. You hop out here, John. Follow me in on foot. I'll see you there. Be ready to enchant the crowd. Rheumatism, lumbago, acute chronic sciatic, uh, uh, neurologic or inflammatory pain. Well, I represent the only company that makes the genuine article that cures headaches, neuralgia, uh, earache, toothaches, backache, swelling, sprains, sore chests, swelling of the throat, contracted cords and muscles, anxieties and ravaged nerves. Stiff joints, wrenches, dislocations, cuts and bruises, and it adds vitality and vigor to the healthy man. <laughs> but can you prove it, old man? Oh, I'm sure there's some customer here who could prove the qualities of its by Take a drink right now. You, sir, come up here. Step right up. That's the spirit. Ladies and gentlemen, pay close attention. 
This poor, wretched volunteer, entirely unknown to me, will demonstrate the effects of Dr. West Dickens' own patent tonic. Be you a cowpoke or athlete, this miraculous elixir developed with the wisdom of the East keeps the muscles supple and relaxes the cords. It loosens the joints and gives a feeling of youth and vigor to the whole system. Not possible, I hear you say. Well, doubt no longer. Faith can move mountains, but I ask not for faith. I am a man of science, and today, science will be vindicated. Your eyesight is greatly improved, is that not so, friend? If you say so. That's right, it is. You heard him. What a good sport you are, sir. Now, gaze over yonder at that porch. If you squint, you may just be able to make out the skull that's hanging there. Go ahead, friend. Shoot that skull and demonstrate the miraculous eyesight you now possess. Sight of an eagle, granted by imbibing Dr. Westerkin's own patent tonic. Anybody can make that shot. This man is a fraud. If your eyes so damn sharp, why don't you try to shoot my hat out of the air? My friends, our test case has been challenged to shoot a gentleman's hat out of the sky above our heads. You can fool these people, but you ain't fooling me. Right. Let's just see how sharp you is with a moving target. Get ready. He's about to throw it. You ready to get embarrassed again? Ha! Let me tell you. Do not write him off yet. He is still adjusting to the powerful tonic. <laughs> well, you want to try that again, shark shooter? Come on, then. Here it comes. You're more crooked than a snake in a cat. Have you ever seen such an eye? Behold the so power of the elixir. Look out of the sky. Hey, hey. What? You think you can put a hole in a man's hat and just walk away, do you? They ain't don't work like that around here, mister. Come on. Are you a man or not? A challenge of battle has been offered to our volunteer. Watch the battle commence! Perhaps he needs another dose. Come to What the hell? <clears throat> I am pressing the button. For a display of Herculean form. Behold the miracle tonic! You hit my tonic, save you! Come on, shoot! There it is! Skeptic center centers! Right click, poker click, left click, more another. Do not let this opportunity pass you by! Watch out! He's got a gun! Who the hell do you think you are? You ain't leaving here alive! Hello there! Oh, God! Oh, what? What did I do? What did I do? Yeah, the kind of a the I shot that can only be the head. by the West Dickens elixir. Come, I have plenty for all. Yeah, no harm in trying one bottle, I suppose. <laughs> well, I think that went kind of well, don't you? I'm just glad that my normal job involves either chasing after cattle or murderers. Not the likes of you, mister. Don't be like that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'd like to say my goodbyes and head on back to the real world. Uh, 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 wait, sir. I, I've been thinking about your predicament, and uh, I think I may have an idea. I've been thinking I could be your cunning Odysseus. 
Beware of the Greeks bearing gifts, sir. Mm -hmm. Williamson had better beware. We will make them into Trojans. I don't rightly get you. I want you to go and see my old friend, Seth. I didn't come across this a little curious, but I'm sure you two will get on. He's a most often found at Coots Chapel. He's very devout. This guy is unbelievable. We can get those gates to open for you, and you can walk right in, just like in Homer's great Trojan yarn! I fucked up twice, but it's alright. Let's go to the stranger here. property Still there. Okay. Miss? Uh, what are you doing out here? Um, I'm She's thinking. Drunk. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, Miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care, then. Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. Oh, oh heavens. Oh, praise you, Lord. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> come on. Will you come oh, with me? With that, oh, how with that superstition here, stuff. I'm in heaven. <coughs> heaven. 
I wasted my medicine there. Finder here at the position I am right now, like to the northeast side of Resort Farm and southwest side of Old Fellows. What is this? Old Fellows Rest. Why don't I check out this place also? Transmission. Let's go. Well, let me check on her. I 
decided to use like the white Arabian horse found in RDI to relate that. And then I have to like, use this horse for the rest of the game. We have no idea. So here, you want to make yourself useful? Not particularly. Listen, son, I know you got a mission. Right now, I need enough gun. Why? What's happening? We've had this problem for months with this group of bandits. We're getting drunk and murdering settlers. Last night, they went to a big place up near Ridgewood. They burnt the place down, killed the men, burning most of them alive, and raped the women. Women folk then got their throats slit. One of them survived and walked in here this morning. Anyway. We got a posse gathering up near Ridgewood. Will you ride with us? All right. Thank you, John Marston. It's gonna be a bloody job. Huh. I don't think I know any other kind, sir. <laughs> hey, wait up! Move your fat ass. so busy killing people they went and dropped their gun yeah come so up then we have winchester repeater they go me winchester repeater 175 dollars that could have sakta tha if i had bought that weapon there i would have wasted 175 dollars right i just got this weapon for free now Come on! Their trail leads to Ridgewood Farm. Come on, let's hurry. So 
sons of bitches! Didn't you want to run a gang of outlaws? Yeah, but not like that. It wasn't our way. At least it wasn't my way. Shed's clear, Marshal! There's no good reason for that to be boarded up. Break that door now. The rest of you, get your guns ready. Shed out back. Make a run for it when it's clear. Thank you. I was convinced I was dead. Don't I hand it to you. As soon as you can, make a run for the shed. Keep your head down. They did unspeakable things to me. Look like that's all of them. Let's see how the hostages are doing. Get on your horse, boy! Follow me! We can still catch- 
Come on, come on! Let your mate play in play, partner. Let's just say he's the currency in a complicated transaction. Some people I have the displeasure of knowing want him dead. Like family. If this is how you treat your family, I'd hate to see what you do to your enemies. That was a lifetime ago. And bear in mind, he's left me for dead the last two times I've seen him. I'm about figuring we've moved past the family part. Hey! Before, but I sure as shit will now. Get yourself down here, Bill. You know you ain't man enough to stop me. <laughs> you know I don't want to kill you, but I will. You always did have a high opinion of yourself, John. <laughs> Dutch always said you were an arrogant son of a bitch. <clears throat> I guess he was about right. Get him, boys! Everybody, take cover! In that shed! This guy just... You ready, boys? Here they come! This way! Norman. Thank you, Mr. Dick. Mighty kind. Fuck you! Hog time. Let's get him to jail. To the victor, the spoil. It's an honor, fool, ho jayega, tab kya hoga?
so there's the other way here already. So I'm just waiting here. So let's go back to Bonnie McFarlane's mission here. There's a bounty poster. Ah! People missing in Chola Springs. New Austin, Tumbleweed Haunted. Wonder Tonic. <laughs> what is this about Tiber Colleges? Tobacco Heights, Tiber Colleges. Oh. Grave Robber captured, but crimes persist. Maximum leader appeals for calm. An orgy of telephones. Walton's can Cody with you
Maybe we we'll do the Let's bonus go. mission in the next video. Yeah. Let's do this and then I will think of something else. Maybe. Okay, let's go straight in like this.
Did I get my own off? Good piece of dirt. Thank you. Whoa, don't run away, don't run away. I don't have an house. Shit, man, my house is running away. Come on. Whoa, what? How much did I get there? Let's go! Killed it and skinned it.
the red drawn house. Time. Let me go to the gun shop. What's going on? Well, protecting yourself, it's the American way. How are you, mister? We got the Second Amendment for a reason, don't we? A fine transaction. Hello to you. That's a fine deal. I'll buy everything that means I'll stand. Okay, so, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. Help me! Help me! Leave that woman alone! Oh, you can't hurt me! Oh, you can't hurt me! Oh, you can't hurt me! He was awful rough to me. Why can't all men be like you? Don't mention it, miss. Oh, I doubt you'd be needing this. So as I was saying, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for more and don't forget to subscribe. I'll be back with more exciting videos on the channel. Stay tuned and have a good day, guys. Bye. See you soon. Take care. Go. Oh yeah. Save the game here and end the video. Let's start with this Bonnie's mission in the next one. Bye.